Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today we are making a older cottage and I thought it would be quite nice because I had, I saw some of these and I was just like, I could definitely make one of <laughs> something like this, especially with the get together wallpaper that we have with the with the beams in and the bricks because I saw some today literally the day I made this <laughs> and I thought yes let us do this and I wanted to make a cottage with the little arched the arch roofing so you could have extra big windows and I thought on the interior can make it sort of a mix of traditional and modern styling as well so it has it has been bank holiday the last bank holiday we'll get before christmas which is super sad so i have had some some four days off instead of three because who hates their workplace and no doesn't want to go back after the the weekend not i <laughs> yes i do anyway so it has some some different outings and gets away for a few days and relax and chill before the madness and the chaos ensues again Tuesday, which is depressing to think about. <laughs> but uh, we have to we have to do our thing. Hopefully, it is not for much longer. But we are putting our windows in so I thought we have the big shutter windows for the top with our arches and then the smaller versions for the bottom part and some little I think little round windows to go on the sides but they are teeny tiny <laughs> and there are not too much windows on the side at all and then at the front I thought it'd be quite nice to have a little shelter over our front door so we actually had something and I was debating whether you used that grimy one but I think the blue like proper wooden one looks a lot more in keeping with this style and everything and obviously we have to have a very full overgrown <laughs> English garden out the front with the stone wall and everything and I tried to put a little bit more detailing into the garden as well because I wanted to have have it very looking very nice and then we've actually got some detailing on our arches as well with little wooden bits that are holding it up and we've got plants growing up as well and I thought it'd be quite nice to have the matching stone front door so we're actually going to use these red bricks and we're going to do the different different ways so one's going one way one's going the other way and then we've got the the normal ones actually on the sides and on the roofing but it just adds some, like something a little bit extra a little bit of detailing and I was trying to think of what the I know it was stone on the bottom like proper old stone but I think I actually went with this what's it the discover university one where it's got some of the bricks sticking out and some of them not and i think it's quite cool having it not so like sticking like brick on the bottom especially as we've got the proper brick on the the top of the house and i think it's it's kind of cool texture combination especially as the dark is the same as the timber and then we have some of the light bits as well and then we're actually going to use the brick flooring that's the same as the the tiles but in a, a dark color so we're going to use that for the entranceway the downstairs bathroom and the kitchen as well so that all ties in with the house and then using the mossy stone brick wall for the front and then having gate to the front of the house and then we have the big one to the back garden area and I actually haven't done a car, <laughs> I haven't done a car thing on here because I was just like, you might have to imagine that this house is right next to the road, like all pavement, and but we still have like a few bits and pieces of plants growing out, and I wanted to frame the entrance, so we've only got a few plants actually out of the out of the ha the grounds of the house, but we have nice big sunflowers and all these different plants inside. And I was trying to pick a path and obviously to get to get 
get together path and then adding in the little have a worn pathway and then I think some mud as well just adds adds that little extra bit of detail for our our worn path that's fairly trodden <laughs> and sort of disappearing so we are going to jump inside now so we can kind of get the layout I actually brought the wall of the house inside as well some extra like texture and then we've got plain walls or brick walls as well to go in here so this is kind of our snug room I'm actually going to block the conservatory off again because I it was it was too open and there was two sitting areas and I was just like this isn't working what needs to happen and I was just like it needs to close off so we're having a little snug tv room here so we've got the corner sofa this is kind of a more modern part of the the home we've still got the really old fireplace and then we've got fireplaces upstairs in the similar place to where they would be downstairs as well so we've just got like an old bookcase and we're going to put a nice seat so you can sit and read a book by the fire and then we have our we're going to use some of the woolen rugs as well from the dream home decorator to actually have some of the rugs in here and then in the conservatory we've got another seating area but we're using the the island living stuff to have some nice wicker fancy furniture and lots of plants in here as well this is where I was like after doing this part I was just like we actually need to split these rooms I actually moved the door so we could actually put some plants <laughs> in the conservatory and have the door slide the other way so the sims can still get out but we can fill the fill the conservatory up with plants because there was two two different vibes going on <laughs> in, in this room and I was just like it's not working we need to split it and we have this nice growing vine as well on the window just for some added added shade and then this is where I think I think yeah because we've got the, the different like textures and everything and I was like this isn't working let's just put a sliding door and the door slides so it owns the the long like further like near the bookcase so we could actually move the sofa back we still get all the light through as well but it just makes the other room a little bit more snug and cozy and I actually remember to put the cushions and blanket in there as well so we actually have some nice comfy things and then two blinds above the sliding door as well just to make it so you can like close off the conservatory bit and dark and a little bit spooky <laughs> now it's now it's getting into September it is September the 2nd today when this when this goes out so autumn is coming the pumpkin spice it's on this way <laughs> Halloween is around the corner oh autumn one of the one of the best seasons so in the in the this room we're going for nice light blue we've got some wood paneling as well on the on the walls but this is kind of our more formal seating area you kind of bring guests in here so we've got the two nice blue roll top sofas nice big chunky wooden coffee table as well that's in a bit more of the farmhousey style and then using the the, the like side tables with the big kind of tie in with some more chunky <laughs> chunky farm look and I thought it'd be quite nice to do some like custom shelves here so we could actually put some stuff on the wall that just wasn't pictures so we've got some like some modern bits and pieces and some jugs and stuff on there to go on there and then I actually use some family pictures or pretending to use family pictures to put some artwork on on the walls we also have a magazine rack because we need one of those <laughs> so we this family tidies their clutter away so we've got a little one of Henlon on Bagley and then we've got some of the the family on here we've got Jerry of course our saviour and then we've just got a girl and another sim as well and then have a nice nice blue rug we're going quite color matchy but I do love having this like stone wall going through it just makes it 
feel very cottagey and then we've got the the tiles as well the little herringbone brick tiles and then in the in the hallway is actually where I thought we'd carry on through the the wood paneling because it actually looked pretty cool under the stairs so I've used it in different places and to get to the bathroom there's actually a little archway and then through the door and you like can get through the bathroom through the kitchen as well but I thought just finishing off the stairs by having an actual proper wall and having the archway kind of separates that off and we've also got the the brick as well but the entrance is quite nice it's quite cute with a little seat so you can put these shoes on and stuff and then over here we have our dining area we don't have a a breakfast table in the kitchen because it's not big enough and there's a there's a proper fireplace in there as well so the dining room is used for many a things in this house and I thought they'd have a nice little industrially farmy lamp to go over the over the dining table as well so it's a bit it's a bit more industrial but I thought the the artwork as well I think that's from dream home decorate it kind of fits in with the colors of the wall but also some of the tones in the the wood that we're using as well them together it's a little bit of a statement piece as well looks very like fragmented broken reality type of thing I do like it <laughs> and just a few bits and pieces in here I don't want to put too much in here because there's not much space to get around and everything so I think we'll just put a trunk in the corner and br making sure I actually had some of the pots and pans and stuff to put in the kitchen and I went through and put radiators in as well because it's an old an older home so I thought they would even though we've got fireplaces they still have like some radiators and I thought it was quite nice to old the building is actually by having the wooden jungle adventure arch so we've got like the beam the wooden beam going across but they painted it in white so it is a bit and then in the kitchen we're using the cottage living stuff but in this nice white and cream and then some a bit more of the fake texture white so it's got a little bit of a little bit of knocks and stuff on it just to add a little bit of detailing in the kitchen and just putting a few bits and pieces up on the wall so it looks they look a little bit different and it brings in a little bit of pop of yellow as well i do like the yellow cream and blue combo that you can get going on in the kitchens with the with this pack and we're going to use the sink as well to just tie in everything and i do i have done this many a times in a build but having the the herbing the herb stand from the vampire stuff as <laughs> a little cookbook on the table just just adds something and i didn't realize the colorway that i'd picked we got like this gold sink gold taps as well but i think that kind of fits with <laughs> with the how much this house actually costs because it actually turned out to be quite a lot for a sims house like it was like I think it's a hundred and twenty two. That is pretty pretty expensive in the, in the Sims terms. Because it's normally quite hard to make your houses too expensive. And I thought it'd be quite nice to add a nice copper in and I was just checking to see where it actually looks appropriate to put because I wanted it over the bench but we had the lights so I was like the lights have to move and we've got pots and things and there's the apples hanging from this smoke detector and i wanted to have a teapot in here as well but like a modern colorway so we've got the brown one that kind of matches the same brown as the other pots that we have and then i wanted a few a few bits and pieces on the fireplace and we're just gonna add oh in here so your sims could like pull up a stool sit down by the fire get dry or sit there and this is our little downstairs bathroom. We actually have three bathrooms. So we have this one, which has 
a roll top and some older plumbing and then upstairs we have a shower in the master suite and then we have a a bath shower in the in the main bit and <laughs> looking at a bloody moth flying about Ugh, moth season where they come and eat everything and downstairs we have the tiles as well so i wanted to put a fluffy fluffy rug so when you get out the bath you're not putting your feet on the cold freezing ground and then i actually used the base game rug in the in the dining room which is a rug that i never never use so upstairs we are going to do the master bedroom first and i thought it quite nice to bring in some of the the more rustic looking bed so we have the cats and dogs one and we're gonna match it with some of the dream home decorator and then upstairs i thought it'd be quite nice to actually have some of the brick coming through the house like we've got the downs like we've got on the downstairs but actually have some of the red brick and i think it i think it looks quite cool just having like the white doors with the red brick just makes makes it have a little bit of a feature wall and then because they've got the the bed next to like behind in front like where the circle window is i thought it'd be quite nice to have like a drapey curtain or something just to make it a little bit of, a little bit of feature <laughs> and then they've got a nice bookcase next to their fireplace and i was trying to match the tones for their, their dresser but they've got they've got quite a few dresser pieces in here and then uh, just a nice dark green rug as well and i thought it'd be quite cool to add a trunk at the end of the bed as though they keep stuff in it we just have a well and then we just got a tiny tiny little bathroom <laughs> for that room so it has a shower and toilet in it so if you siblings needed to use the sink then they'd have to go out and use a different one and then we have a nice little office area so the dogs wouldn't shut up barking hopefully you can't hear them but they are a menace and we have two different old bookshelves in the white and this is all panelled as well because I thought it would be a little bit different to all the different rooms then we have a nice blue desk which matches our blue on the the dartboard <laughs> so I feel it was quite fun to have a dartboard and I wanted to have in one of the kids rooms like a little bit more entertainment type of things so they have a, a foosball table and then I wanted to match like the dark red tones in the bedroom and then some of the objects I was like getting stuck with each other and I was just like what is happening so I was like a few things I had to delete so we've got the one of the bunk beds with the drawers underneath and we've got a little desk and then we're going to put in a more modern bookshelf and a little seat as well because I thought in the kids rooms they would have some more modern furniture <laughs> than in the rest of the house because it's more more their style and we've got carpet in the bedrooms as well so it's just nods to being a bit a bit older a bit more out of date even though we've still got rugs as well <laughs> so it'd be a little bit annoying but i think i think this room is pretty cool the, definitely the sims in this house are more teens or older kids so it's a little bit more of a more of an older family and then i was just trying to think of something to put in the corner of this room and got some nice plants in here and it's not it's not got too much like personal stuff in here it's clearly a very clean <laughs> clean sim but i think you can kind of get their their dark <laughs> their like of dark stuff and then in this room i thought we'd go a little bit more cottage core but a little bit more like a little bit girlier a bit more like oh, i love pastels and we're gonna have fairy got pink and white and we've got the, like, the pastel blue and they were trying to go for a, like a proper aesthetic in here so we've got like the peachy curtains that have the pop of blue in here we've got we're gonna have i found one of the one of the pictures as well that has pink in it and we've got this nice chair from parenthood as well which i thought was perfect to put in here it's just like proper 
trying to be all aesthetic, <laughs> all aesthetically pleasing, and they've got their little shoes lined up, so they've got their trainers, and then they're like pink high heels, some makeup and stuff, and a bonsai as well, <laughs> nice, like cherry blossom bonsai. I really want to have a pink rug, but this one matched way too much, so I was like, let's use the other one. It's still a little bit matchy <laughs> to the carpet colour, but I think it goes with what I was trying to do and then we've got some really like generic pink <laughs> pictures with the candle and the cupcake and then this is where I was trying to find another painting and I was like that one looks that one looks better over the bed so let's use that one and then for here I was trying to think of different things I could put but I was like let's put some put some beading on the door as well just to be extra aesthetic and then I was like yeah fairy lights but they didn't match, but then some of them were like connecting to other things. It was a little bit weird. I think the Dream Home Decorator stuff was playing with a lot of stuff because it was on the other side of the wall. So I was like, well, at least we have some like fairy lights here. And we've got a, macra like a macrame thing as well on the wall. Perhaps they've made it themselves and then some nice aesthetic pictures that they want to put up <laughs> ready for their for their instagram or whatever it's very very trying to be a showroom and they've got a camera and everything and then the last bedroom is just the guest bedroom which we'll see in the in the screenshots and then outside I've, we've got the did some decking and we're gonna have a little barbecue pizza oven type of thing and it looks see of we kind of have a natural barrier so we've got the the walls coming round, and then the walls end where there's going to be a gap where there's a pond and then I actually combined the pond and onsen into the pond like the rock onsen and so you can actually go <laughs> for a nice hot swim instead of a freezing freezing cold like pond one so they kind of built it up to look like it was part of the pond, the natural pond, and they've got some tea lights floating in there. Perhaps that's the the daughter doing her aesthetics <laughs> for Instagram, and they've got this fish fountain as well. So it's not a... They've kind of man-made some of the bits of the pond, because at the moment I was like, oh, it's really tiny, and then when I put the, put the willow tree there, I was just like, it definitely needs to be... A lot bigger than it actually is so it actually goes round the corner and takes up most of the end of the garden which kind of works we've got the oak tree down there that was already on the lot and then we have like this like natural peninsula in the pond which is quite cool so adding some reeds and some more like fluffy reeds as well just to make it look a actual pond and we're going for like very much long grass like daisies and very country cottagey to english overgrown country garden aesthetic everywhere <laughs> definitely lots of daisies and everything and rocks to go in the the pond because on the peninsula that is going to be where we have our onsens so you can have a nice warm dip so it's without leaves and everything and I really did a lot of terrain painting in this build so we've got like the mud around the pond and then we're going to have pathways made from the same one as the front as well so we use the the brick and we actually use the square one first which I actually had to change where it went because the the onsen was in the way hey when you're like doing it from the other side and it just like jumps to something else and I thought it'd be quite cool just to go in with a smaller brush and actually make it look as though it's worn and we're going to go over it with, with some some mud as well which kind of just fits the thing and then we've got, where we've got the gate that goes out into the into the wild <laughs> we have just the the really basic stepping stones I've got there and I think that's pretty cool especially when we've got all the mud over the top of it, it kind of looks as though they just put them down to make sure that it's not too muddy and you don't waste away the landscape too much and we're going to build up some flowers on either side of the wall but we're not going to do 
much flowers like anywhere else because this is where they've <laughs> this is where they've focused it. So further around where the gate is, there's not too much like plants and stuff. It kind of tapers away. So it's kind of what what the Sims have planted or let themselves grow up some borders around the wall but the further we get away from the house the more natural and wild it's supposed to be and a bit more grass as well so we've got the other part of the garden around the other side of the house that is where we're going to have a swing set and a washing line as well there is no laundry but you could add it in we also have a chicken coop so they're all free range free range chickens and we're going to have a little bit of a garden planter box around here which I thought would be quite nice it kind of fits tucks away around the corner there and we've got our birds and we have our little stump for the rabbits as well which get the rabbit one gets moved a bit just when we've got the we've got the aunts and, and this is where I put it in I was just like yeah it fits so nicely that a little bit more of a barrier between the pond and the exit we add some extra rocks as well which fits in with little, our little hut so there is our screenshots so you can get a layout of the house as well and we'll dive into the different bits and pieces so we've got the upstairs bedrooms <laughs> don't know why it's doing the upstairs first and we've got our office our kids bedrooms and our different bedrooms well and our bathroom which I did off camera and then downstairs into our hallway our formal living space our little nook for tv and reading books and then we've got our outdoor space as well so I hope you enjoyed this build if you did feel free to give it a like and hopefully I will see you next one bye